my guys, it's spooky season. So today in this video, we're gonna be making spooky dog tricks. Look, look into their eyes. Tell them to subscribe. They must subscribe. They can't say no to this face. Hey guys, so because it's spooky season, we're going to be making spooky dog treats. And I got all of these recipes on Pinterest. So if you guys want to steal them as well, I will link them in the description below. However, the first one we're going to be doing is candy corn paws. And here's what you're gonna need. First off, you need a silicone ice cube tray. And it's a bonus if you have them as paws, makes it even cuter. For the white portion of the candy cane, you're going to use a non-fat plain Greek yogurt. For the yellow portion of the candy cane, you're going to use a few bananas. And lastly, for the orange portion of the candy cane, you should use a canned pumpkin, but I couldn't find that at the store, so my replacement is going to be the Primal Edible Elixir, the Winter Squash Puree. And the reason why I'm using this is because it's still orange, so I feel like it'd be a good replacement. First, you're gonna start with the white portion of the candy corn with the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna use a half teaspoon and place a dollop of the Greek yogurt in each one of the paw print slots. When you're placing the yogurt into the slots, make sure there is that it covers about one third of the slot because we're going to have three portions that we'll put in here. Once you have all of the ice cube tray filled, you're going to put it on a plate. This just makes it easier for transportation out of the freezer. And you're gonna put this in the freezer for one to two hours. The next step, you're going to put your pumpkin, or in my case, the primal supplement, in on top of your yogurt layer. Then you're gonna put it into the freezer for one to two hours. Next, we're going to take half a banana and smash it with a fork until it is a desired consistency. Next, we will use the banana to fill the last layer of our ice cube tray. Once you have them all filled, you're going to put it in the freezer for one to two hours, and then you'll be all done. Okay guys, I think our candy corn paws are ready to serve. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. Okay. Can you speak? 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 Sit. Good girl. All right, and what do you think? Oh yeah. Is it a good one? So the next treat we're going to be making are bloody bones. And here's what you're going to need. First you're going to need a non-fat plain Greek yogurt, watermelon, and lastly you're going to need the silicone ice tray in the bone shape. First thing you're going to do is chop up some watermelon into tiny pieces. This is what's gonna make it look like blood, hopefully. The next step is you're going to place these watermelon pieces into your mold. Once I was done with placing all the watermelon, I just used the rest of the juices on the cutting board and poured it into the slots, which as you can see worked out quite nicely because now my counter is all sticky. So I just took a knife and spread the yogurt over the watermelon. And bad cooker tip, I used a paper towel to wipe all the excess off so that they come out the freezer nice and neat. But hey, it works, doesn't it? <laughs> Next, you're just going to put it on a plate and put it in the freezer for one to two hours. Okay, so our bloody bones are done. They are fully frozen, so let's take them out and see how they look. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. 
my bloody bones. Look at all my treats. They're so cute. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Yes. Coo -coo -coo. So our next treat is a peanut butter banana biscuits. And it's basically a biscuit that I use these fun little cutters to make them a spooky. So here's what you're gonna need. This one has a lot of substitutions that I'm going to have because I didn't wanna buy a full things of almond milk and things like that. So, so here's what you're going to need to make the biscuits. You need one cup of coconut flour, about half of a banana, half a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons flax seeds, which I'm skipping because I couldn't find them, and one fourth cup unsweetened almond milk, but I didn't want to buy almond milk, so I'm just gonna use raw goat milk from the Primal collection, so this will not be human safe. So first thing you're going to do is set your oven to 350. So while that warms up, we're going to mix all of our ingredients together in a mixing bowl. So I'm going to start with the banana because I have to mash the banana up. The next step is to add one cup of coconut flour. Next we're going to add one third cup of peanut butter. Lastly, we're going to add one fourth cup of our raw goat milk. And then you just need to stir it all together. Next, you're going to roll this into a ball. You also want to use flour so that your dough doesn't stick to the surface. Here I'm using wax paper. Okay, so now we're going to knead the dough together so that we can roll it out with a rolling pin so that we can then cut our fun shapes. Now we have our dough. Then I'm gonna take my cookie cutter. Add your first cookie. You're going to put it onto your baking sheet. Okay. Cookie cutter. I think it's gonna lose this arm. And then you're going to repeat this process where you flatten out the dough and stick your cookie cutter in until your dough is completely gone. Once you have all your shapes, all you need to do is cook it for 20 minutes. Oh yes! Pizza. Pizza. That's a blue one. Oh, it's so cute. The peanut butter booskin. <laughs> so our next treat is banana coconut purple lanterns, which I think is probably my favorite. They turned out really good. So you're going to need one third cup coconut oil, two to three tablespoons of peanut butter, and two and a half cups of rolled oats. So this recipe requires you to use shredded coconut, but instead of that, I am going to be using a banana yogurt mixture that was left over from one of the previous recipes. Last item I'm going to be using is this pumpkin mold to make them into cute little jack-o'-lanterns because they have little faces. So I'm really excited about it. So first we're going to add all of these ingredients to a food processor, but I don't have that. I have a magic bullet, so we're gonna use that instead. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. 
So I'm only going to be making half of the recipe. So all of those measurements, I'm just going to do half of that solely because it's not going to fit in here. We want two to three tablespoons of peanut butter. We want one third cup of coconut oil. How am I going to get this in here? Hey Google, what's half a third of a cup? Two tablespoons plus two teaspoons. How am I gonna get you out of here? The cats really want what I'm making. Oh Cooking is not my thing. <laughs> now we gotta blend this together. This will be interesting. So. flour so that your dough doesn't stick to the surface. Here I'm using wax paper. Next we're going to roll these into balls and I kind of want to see if I can put these bases on here. So that's why I have this here. Okay, a bonus tip. I'm gonna use all this extra banana yogurt that I made and I'm just gonna put this on the top of it and see what happens. I probably don't have enough for all of them, but I want to see if this like is cool or not. I don't know. I need like something to spread it. This will work. I don't think this should go soup into it. Put it again. We'll see, we're experimenting. I'm an Aries, we live for this. Last thing to do with this is we just need to freeze it for an hour to two hours. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once the no-bake ones are done, you can take them out of the molds. These are gonna be hard to get out. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cold. Oh, look how cute this is. Oh, it completely molded the face out. Look at this. Look, it's got the full face. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's got the full face. You can see the bumps. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. It's so cute. This one has the yogurt on the bottom of it. God, you gave her that old thing. He hasn't eaten it yet. <laughs> it's mine now. <laughs> yeah. Isn't she cute? And I think that last treat might have been my favorite. So if you guys enjoyed this video, just wait until next week. We're going to be doing even more spooky themed videos all throughout October. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post next. And while you guys wait, make sure you check out these videos next and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> God, I don't know why I... Other way. Gross. It's all over her nose. I don't know what I have to do to that. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have done it, it would be so easy.